hello everyone welcome back to another video it's been a pretty long time as i have i've been busy so let's see what we are going to learn today we are going to learn head bob system okay it's a purely procedural done using code in unity so you you can see i have a working model here see if i just walk it is there is a very slight head bob you can see camera is moving up and down see whether in any direction if i press print which is left shift key see the head bob amount increases as you can see and it and this effect will make your game look a little bit more uh, fun to play and uh, much more uh, better to look at so let's see how we can implement this system it's actually pretty easy the mechanics is very easy to understand so let's get started and not waste much time so in the scene let's see how our layout and orientation or the hierarchy of the player is placed so first of all we have a empty game object named player which consists of character controller and a player script which we are going to write so that's all for the implementation part and the main camera is inside the player so as you can see here just placed at the head area where the head is supposed to be so let's get started and let's see what's there in the code so let's see what variables are required first so we have a private bool here which is named is printing it will just check whether the player has pressed the left shift key or not so you just need to check whether this thing is written or not so input dot dot, dot get key and sprint key which i have already specified here as you can see left shift here this thing here so this thing is not required you can remove it you could just need to write private bool is printing and just check with the lambda expression here and input dot get key sprint key which has already been specified here private key code sprint key is equal to key code dot left shift so these two things you need to write then after that we need to check these things you have already written so sprint key has already been defined then you need the camera variables which are written here as you can see so private camera cam which will give us reference to our uh, fps camera and a character controller named character controller okay these two things are also required and two speeds like uh, walk speed and uh, sprint speed these two okay leave the crouch because you have not implemented this so this thing and this thing float walk speed is equal to two i have just uh, specified a particular value and for sprint speed you have a four which i have already specified as four okay so this thing and this thing you need to write okay then after that let's see what we need then we have our head bob settings here these things you need to implement so we have a few variables here which is of float walk bob speed which is the bo head bobbing speed means at the rate of which it will go up and down when we are just walking and the walk bob amount is the amount of up and down it will go when we are walking so these two things then for same for sprinting these two things leave the crouching part as we have not implemented or if you need it you can implement but it's not required for this video then we have float default y pose which will just specify the default y position when we are not sprinting so that camera can go back to that position and a timer variable which is just for keeping the track of time so this thing here so this thing walk bob speed walk bob amount sprint bob amount sprint bob speed and default y pose and timer these things you need to write then i think the variable part is complete here so let's see what all things we need yes the variable parts are it's done here so let's get to the function part first you need to get the reference of the camera variable here as you can see the camera variable which we have declared we are assigning it to get component in children camera as we have a player game component and inside that camera is there and the script is attached to this and camera is a child of player so camera is actually a child so script can get access to this camera by using this method or function get component in children and the, what whichever first camera will be there it will be automatically assigned to this part of cam so that's why we are using it and the character controller it will get the component character controller from the game object okay so these things you need 
and these two are not mandatory if you want just it will just remove the cursor from the screen during play mode that's all so that's all for the avic function okay this all for the avic function let's see in update function so you don't need to write in control anything just you need to write if can head bob these two things here these two things you need to write if can head bob then handle head bob okay this is a function which we are going to write down okay so we will go to the handle head bob area so this is the function which is required so at the very first we are just checking if character controller dot is grounded is a inbuilt uh, variable in character controller class so it will just give us whether the character controller is touching a ground or not so if you are not touching the ground we don't want our player to do head bob or anything like that so that's why we are checking here is grounded then if it's not grounded which is not here you can see not is attached so then we will just return no need to do anything we will just return from the function so if this case is false means which means we are grounded so we will go to the next if statement here which is if we are just checking the move direction dot x is greater than which is actually the magnitude okay let me just show you what this move direction is okay so if you go to the this area so move direction is just basically the input vector okay which we are, the input you are taking from the user and just you are creating the vector so float forward is input dot vertical which is your up and down arrow or w or s key right is uh, input dot get x is horizontal which will take input from left or right arrow or a or d key and current input we are just creating a new vector of uh, two dimensional which will store at x position the right and y position the forward which is right will store left right arrow keys input and y will store up down arrow keys input then we have a float move direction y which will just hold track of the y position because see y is actually the gravity not forward or left or right it's a upward one y in unity x is okay so we don't want to interfere with the gravity part here so that's why we have already cache the value before then in move direction we are just uh, getting the direction which is from the transform okay so transform dot transform direction will give you the local direction vector so transform dot transform direction vector 3 dot right will give you the right vector in the world space okay and we are multiplying it with the right input which is current input dot x and we are also multiplying with the speed here so this is actually remove this part here this is actually a ternary operator so we are just checking if its sprinting is enabled which means the player is pressing the shift key we will use sprint speed or if the shift is not pressed means we are not sprinting we will use walk speed same we will do for and we are adding the vector forward same like that only we will get the forward vector in world direction from the game object and we will multiply it with the y input and same we will check for wait let me same we will check for sprinting also like if is sprinting and oh my mouse is sprinting and if it's sprinting we will use the sprint speed or walk speed like same as before we just in y direction which is forward and so this is the move direction okay and then we are again is storing the y direction value which we have cached before in this value okay so this is the movement part and this is the move direction variable okay move direction variable which has already been created above if you are getting error you just need to declare it okay right here wait let me show oh yeah vector 3 move direction okay so back again to the head bob area so we will we are just checking the magnitude of x direction or move direction which means we are pressing left or right key or forward or backward key which is the z direction okay which is horizontal in unity world space if the value is greater than 0.1 means there is some movement so then we can enable head bob so when these things are pressed x y or left or right arrow up or down so these values will become true then we will enter this if case so timer will just keep track of time 
and uh, and we will just uh, check if it's sprinting then we will use the sprint bob speed or walk bob speed if it's not sprinting so timer is the name then after that is this is the main part which will handle the head bob so we are just changing the local position of camera which is the fps camera here so cam dot transform dot local position and we need a new vector 3 which because we are giving its new coordinate to this one so that's why we are creating a new vector 3 here and so in for the x position it will be same like uh, as before of camera so cam dot transform dot local position dot x the main thing is up and down of the head bob so that's why this is the main thing responsible for the head bob okay so we are just see default position is zero initially okay so to this default position we are adding mathf dot sign because as you know sine curve is like this up and down which uh, values which varies from value from plus one to minus one and here is the time and here is the uh, value so as time passes by it values go from one to minus one then again back to one then to minus one so that's why we are feeding the timer inside this which will give us the value from 1 to minus 1 in, in a sinusoidal order okay so this is the thing here and then we are multiplying it with the bob amount which is up and down so initially it was plus 1 minus 1 so if bob amount is so it was like this if bob amount is like 5 then it will go from like this to like this more up and down if speed is increased it will go like this this is the main difference between this is for speed if increase the speed more faster it will come means like this like this like this so this is the main thing responsible for head bob so default position y plus sine function multiplied by the head bob amount and z will be same because we don't want forward or backward head movement okay so with these things we are done with the head bob amount so let me just finalize what all things you require here if you are confused see we require this variable here is printing then you can enable this also can sprint okay can sprint is required then sprint key is required and then these two here camera character controller and then walk speed sprint speed and then for head bob settings we need walk bob speed walk bob amount sprint bob speed sprint bob amount default y pose timer and we also require a vector 3 actually here yeah. let me show you here vector 3 move direction so these are all the variables required in the functions you need to write cam.get component and the character controller here and also these two things default y pose of the camera at the awakening position we are just initializing the initial local position of camera here itself okay so default y pose is here and in update you need to write if can head bob and we are going to access the handle head bob function here then go to and just create a handle head bob function and write the codes here okay. so these are the things which you will require for head bob soon i will explain these all also like uh, zooming and crouching sprinting and all in uh, another video so i hope this uh, video will help you a lot in understanding how the things are done in games and this video is in pretty late because i have been occupied with some other things <coughs> and uh, all the course will be available in my Patreon, which I have uh, recently opened. It's actually very cheap. Just it will help me to get get you other videos and important videos in a faster time. So that's all. It's not mandatory. All the course are explained in the video. But in case if you just need the project or scripts in a written format, in copy pasteable format, you can just uh, follow in Patreon. It's very cheap here. Okay. So. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day. Bye.